Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. This is HBT tutorial for your basic setup, installation, configuration for BG Dial and other open source application. Okay, so for today video, guys, we will continue the uh, blocking for the inbound call DID. So uh, we miss some configuration on our first video. So we will uh, so so that I make another video for part two. So how to restrict or block the inbound call if the call is, is spamming you? Okay. So most of ka my clients uh, told me that they have some calls. They trying to call back, call back, call back again, 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 and again, and again. So now we will block them using the bg dial uh, filter phone groups okay so using the filter phone groups we can add the uh we can add the we can add the did over there or the caller id that the caller uh registered on our system so we can copy and paste to the fpg and then add so that that number uh, they cannot able to call again or on our did number okay so let's start so okay you uh, first of all you need to go again to your bg dial administration and then sign in and first you need to verify all the campaigns or uh just click to modify and find the dnc you need to verify these two has been checked okay so dnc internal dnc internal uh DNC internal is the number that you put on the internal image on the dialer itself. Okay, so DNC campaign, DNC list, it means it's only for campaign that you added the number under the DNC campaign. So it means if you if you have multiple campaigns and you uh, the DNC internal is disabled and you are only using the dnc campaign list so if you dial the number to other campaign it cable to pass okay because uh, because it's not uh, on the dnc uh, it's not on the dnc campaign because you are your campaign was set to dnc list and your the the leads you block or you put on the dnc you only select the dnc campaign list not the dnc internal it means internal the whole system okay save the number okay Iba, okay so once you verify you check over here and then uh and your filter group so you can go to the inbound uh, fpg filter group so it's here okay okay so let me try now again so if i on my uh his screen and i will dial my the number okay so as you can see this is the uh i can i can able still call okay so I just hang up for now and then to uh enable that okay so you need to add over here okay add and delete fg so right now we have i already have here so we already added the phone number okay this is okay and then 
filter group you need to copy the FPG ID okay this is the important please note okay and then go to the DID show DID filter modified and then look for the uh, okay this one filter filter free filter phone DID so you need to paste over here and also if you want to check on this one yeah okay and then filter dnc campaign should be all also okay so once i submit this one and then we can mo check our cli okay let me reconnect clear asterisk okay and then if i dial again look what will happen so you can see the my call is already blocked so it's sent to invalid e extension but no valid handler context priority inbound tracking okay okay so let's try another color id so the i will this is a test color id we are using i will edit this one if i use uh one two eight nine zero three one okay so i will use this as a color id okay Okay, so we've tried to call again. <coughs> so as you can see, I'm can I'm able to call again. Okay, because my my uh, caller ID was changed. Okay, so we're going to block again this the ID. Okay, okay, so stop okay to block you need to go here inbound add and delete filter number okay just put one oops uh, you need to what is the number again uh, okay I need to get the DID okay your ID okay go here base so much better add one on the first and the 11 digit number and the 10 digit number and be sure this one is on add submit okay it's on add now then if we if we try to make a call what will happen so it's been black okay okay so we understand now and then to remove to remove the on black okay just go to the inbound again uh, add and delete okay select your filter number okay then set this one to delete then submit okay shed is already removed on the list so if uh, if we try to make a call so our call is passing again okay so hope you get it on how to block your uh, or how to block the incoming caller id uh, or the spam caller id that's spamming your incoming call the calling and calling and calling and calling again until you bullshit okay 
So, hope you are enjoying our video for today. And don't forget to like and share. And if you're not yet a subscriber, you can click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you always updated on our latest video. Okay, so thank you guys and have a nice day. See you for our next video. Bye-bye.